Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to share with you this awesome Stevie Ray Vaughan guitar lesson and dive a little bit deeper into his playing style and see if I can break down further what he's talking about in this interview. Now, I'm sure like so many of you, you know, myself included, I've gone on YouTube and searched for so much guitar related content. And I remember back in the day searching to see if I could find some videos of Steve Ray Vaughan actually teaching a lesson and I wasn't able to find anything. This is the best that I could come up with. If any of y'all know of any videos of Stevie, you know, actually teaching, let me know in the comments below. But I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into what he's talking about in this video. So I'm gonna show you some clips and then we're gonna dive in. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you an awesome resource I put together. And it's basically just a one page PDF that shows you the five chords and scales I use to map out the entire fretboard. And this is so useful if you wanna play solos like Stevie Ray Vaughan or or over blues progressions. I wanna give you my system for that. So just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. You can click the first link down below completely for free as my gift to you. It's gonna help you with this lesson when we talk about kind of the E pentatonic and blues stuff that Stevie's doing. So grab it at the first link down below. With that said, let's check out this clip. As I was hearing the original blues masters from the States, um, I was also hearing the English blues boom at the same time. So not only was I getting the original, but I was getting this um, updated, energized version of the same thing. So I had less reservations and less reasons to be so-called a purist. And therefore, I wasn't as restricted about what I could learn. Show me how you combine the two, then. Uh, Those, that... 60s Mersey beat is what you're talking about. <laughs> no, 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 and, no. And the, I don't know about Mersey deep beat blues. so much, but, but like, for instance, okay, Freddie King does Hideaway like. Captain does it like this. small difference there. So Stevie says there's a small difference there. And first I wanna just talk about that tone. Wow, that is an incredible sound. He's got his Strat, that signature SRV Strat with it tuned down a half step. And that's something that Stevie would do. It was a signature thing that he would do. He, his guitar would be tuned to E flat standard. Then behind him, he's got a huge Marshall amp and you know it's cranked up loud. Now, one of the things I think he's talking about when he says there's a subtle difference there between how Freddie King plays Hideaway and how Eric Clapton does. See, Freddie King, he did it here. <laughs> And what that is, is that's on an open position. So he's got, he's starting on the second string and then going to the first string where Clapton would go. So there he's higher up the neck and then playing on the fourth string, you know, instead of the second string. Now to me down here on the lower strings, it has more of a throatier sound you know, as opposed to the Freddie King on the higher strings. You won a Grammy for the best uh, blues instrumental the other year, right? Which is uh, a really big deal in America. Ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what was that? I believe it was, was for Rude Mood. We've been nominated like seven times. Uh, and, Rude Mood. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's actually a takeoff of a Lightning Hopkins thing. Um, like a, a thing called Lightning Skyhop which is it's a takeoff of it and um 
Yeah, I guess it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's just mean and it's, it sounds like a rude mood, you favorite note <laughs> so his strum hand there is just going back and forth like attacking the strings but he's really alternating down up and then he's almost like strumming the bass line like and it's interesting to hear him talk about the lightning hopkins tune that was sort of the takeoff for his song rude mood that's my favorite note <laughs> you know he does the whammy bar and then he just pops that last note and you would hear Stevie do this all the time he said that's his favorite note and you'll hear this just at the very end of a lot of his songs you just hear it. and so what you want to do is you just get your thumb under the string and you just pop it you well one of the things it led on to apart from your own success is you you've played with Stevie Wonder incorporated oh. a lot right <laughs> thank you for that one <laughs> Stevie Wonder I've been a fan of his since I can remember since uh, primary school. First we did, uh, okay, we did our version on the live album and mixed it in Studio One the Studio and the, out of result from that, he liked, he liked what we had done and the next time he recorded, he calls me up and asked me to play on the character's album. So, out of that comes also playing on the on the on the characters the special the MTV special they did. All right, let's. Well, yeah. you know the difference How's in the, the feels how, were. How was your version <laughs> feel? You know, uh, ours was like you know. SRV, when he played Superstition, he really approached it more from like a blues rhythm part as opposed to having, you know, the typical like... That's your typical Superstition riff. He goes to this chord and just does his rhythm thing. And that's a great chord shape there that he would use all the time. The seventh fret of the fifth string, and then the seventh fret of the third string, also the seventh fret of the first string, then pinky on the eighth fret of the second string. And you could play the low E, but Stevie would use this all over. He'd use it for A and E. Basically, when you don't have any open strings, you could move it around the neck, but of course in Superstition, you can play the low E because it's in the key of E. You know, 
just real straight. So you can't deny that groove, you know, whether he's playing a solo or he's playing a rhythm part, that time is always there. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll leave the entire video linked below, as well as my fretboard guide, which is really gonna help you with putting your chords and scales together. So you can grab that as my gift to you. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video real soon.